Hello, Mr. Shannon. Today's date is August 19, 2010. I am here out in Loxahatchee at 4226 uh, 160th Lane. Uh, there's a very long dirt road to get into this property, but once you get here, it's on two and a half acres. And uh, this is the house. There's some exterior work that needs to be done uh, because of some wood rot and some fascia damage. Let me just zoom in on that a little bit. That's right below the front door window. That would have to be addressed and taken care of. There's a couple other spaces here. And this is just the front of the home. Also, right around the front door frame, that would need to be repaired as well. As you can see. And along the, continued along the front. Okay. Going into the house, it has a really nice layout. Um, there's some questionable things in here as well. I opened the door so that we can uh, air out the smell a little bit. Uh, the bamboo coverings on the wall, it needs to be re re removed. This is not necessarily everyone's taste. There's also a couple missing light fixtures here. There's one in the living area. Place also needs to be painted. There's bugs throughout. That one's a live one there, crawling on the wall, going about his business. The blinds are in good condition, however, they do smell very smoky and we would need to replace those as well. There's tons of screws in the walls also that would need to be uh, plucked out and patched. This is the kitchen area. There is no refrigerator here. No dishwasher. There's the stove. It's an older stove, but it does look like it's in serviceable condition. I'm standing at a place in the floor here where it's sagging a little bit. Um, it's a little uneven. There's the pantry. One shelf just needs to be put back in place. Inside all the cabinets would need to be cleaned out, but just moderately. It's not a deep cleaning or anything like that. They're all in good condition. Ooh! That would definitely need to be repaired. There's a water softener attached as well. We need to uh, have that serviced and find out if it works well. Just some shelving covering would probably work and fix the appearance of the cupboards. Ooh, inside the stove there's a couple spiders that would need to be cleaned out. Also in here would need to be cleaned out. The hood might be salvageable if it could be spray painted. Oh, this cabinet door. <clears throat> oh, it's a fake cabinet door. It's double hinged. As you can see. There's the last cabinet. This is a little dining area over here. It's missing a light fixture. This is the doorway into a patio deck area. Back door. We also would need to figure out the property lines to determine where the tenant would have to stop cutting. Even though it looks like it extends very, very far out. Let me step out onto the deck. I really don't want to get into the grass because it's very high and I'm terrified of snakes. Those are the water conditioners here. Let me zoom in on them. Just in case we need to 
speak to someone about fixing them at one point or another. And this is the backyard. There's also a shell back there, but like I said, the, the grass is really, really high, so. Going back into the home, a couple of things I want to point out along the way. I'm not sure when the last time the AC unit was serviced. Oh, there's also this bamboo stuff on the wall again. I don't know what this is, but that would need to be removed. This is the AC unit. Doesn't have any last service dates on it, but it's good that we captured the make and the model type on here. Inner therm. Going into the bathroom, I can't really uh, get in there like I want to as the floor is rotted and missing, and that would obviously need to be replaced. The shower and the tub look like they're in good serviceable condition. There's also a water heater uh, closet, it looks like, for the laundry room. I just, I can't really get into it. But the floor under there needs to be replaced as well. The threshold needs to be replaced and the bedrooms is actually sitting over here on the floor. This is the master bedroom has some screws in the wall. It's missing a ceiling fan light fixture as well. All the vents are stained from cigarette smoke. We would need to put a window treatment over this window. The attached bath is over here. There's no electric, so I can't really tell if anything works. The mirror is in bad condition. Let me look under these cabinets and see. Just needs to be affixed properly under there. Once again, just years of being ex exposed to nicotine. The floors are in great condition, though. The floors are in great, great condition. Uh, there's some laminate flooring here in the bathroom. Uh, the shower would definitely need to be cleaned. There's uh, rust marks as well as some mildew here. This is the master closet. It's kind of small, but it looks like shelved very nicely. Okay, we need an outlet covering for here. Actually, there's several of them missing throughout. Then into the second of the third bedrooms. Uh, the carpet is in disrepair. I would recommend either uh, Installing the same laminate flooring that's in the rest of the house in here or reinstalling new new carpet depending on cost. Looks like someone was considering that before. There's some laminate flooring here already. We would need to replace these blinds. They're stained with cigarette smoke as well. This is the third and final bedroom. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. The carpet in here is also in disrepair. Uh, it's badly stained and it's coming up in several places. The closet is in good condition though. Uh, the door is a little stuck. Okay, the door is stuck. All the vents also need to be replaced throughout. That ends this inspection video of 4226 160th lane. I hope it gives you an idea of what we have to deal with. I will uh, meet and get some costs together for you.